Hi everyone, Hulls here from Hulls Fitness, just getting in to do a leg day, and it is busy, Monday, chest day, international chest day, everyone's here, Siobhan and I are about to get in and get some legs done, uh, hopefully we can get the machines we want, if not we'll make do, and uh, yeah, we'll see you after, bye. Alright guys, here we go, kicking it off with lying leg curls, now I do a strip set for this, and or a pyramid, but I pyramid down, so I'll start reasonably heavy. Try and get about 12 reps in, I believe. And then I'll strip right down. I'm um, doing that for four sets. I'm just looking at my form here. It's I, I can feel it. It's not the best. I'm doing a bit more back movement than I should be um, to push out those reps. I really should have my stomach and back. You can see my back arching a little bit. That's not the best form. So don't hate on me there. I do realize that. So in before everyone starts, oh, that's bad form. But I am concentrating on my hamstrings, believe it or not. So yeah, this is just a strip set or a drop set, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so four sets of these. And by four sets, I just mean four drop set, four drop sets, and then that's it, we're done. really see I'm lifting off the machine there I actually um, this is the first exercise but we actually started on the leg press so I'm already pretty knackered through the quads here the uh, machine we wanted to start off with I usually start on this leg cycle is on the leg uh, the lying leg curl but we got the that was being occupied so we used the leg press instead to start off so we started with quads this particular day. Yeah, that's me done, see? I'm already knackered. And here's Siobhan getting in some work. You can see her form's way better than mine. She's smart about it. And her back is as much on the bench as possible, so that's good. So this was actually the first exercise we did this day, but in my cycle it is actually the second exercise so leg press for four sets at 20 to 30 reps so you can see this is a high rep cycle a high rep week so I'm pushing out 30 here I think at this stage I've only got three plates on each side so it's only 120 kilos uh, this was at the first my first set though and then I think I put an extra 40 on and did it for 30 but I was burning it was quite an effort to get through but we got it done managed even little sometimes you'll see me stop like and pause but that's just to get out the 30 I'm getting out the 30 so pushing to get that done all right so we go into squats now by this stage this is my third exercise and I am knackered I'm losing strength, I'm finding, so here I might, you can see I've only got a, I think it's a 15 and a 5 plate, so there's only 20 kilos on each side, you know, a lot less than what I can normally usually put out, but being that I'm in a caloric deficit, I'm in a cut, and I was pretty happy because I'm still doing, I think, about 20 to 30 reps in this, and we do this for 4 sets as well. Try not to fully lock out your knees when you're doing squats, because it puts too much pressure on your ligaments and your joints through your knee and I am trying to go arm to ground, ass to grass so the form is good form but light weight but high reps so then here we're going to go into leg extensions and we're going to superset them with deadlifts so we've got three sets at 20, 20 reps on this one and that's 20 reps of the leg extensions and also 20 reps of the deadlifts. Now that's stiff leg deadlift. So you're basically just using your hamstrings. It's not a compound movement. So I'm not looking to work my lower back or you know my um, in conjunction with my hamstrings or legs. So at this stage I'm pretty tired, but I, ha I am noticing the strength loss, that's for sure. So then we'll go into the stiff leg deadlifts yeah, nice neutral straight back there that's nice and 
deep, so I'm going pretty deep over just to feel really feel the stretch through my hamstring. And yeah, we do this for 20, 20 reps, and I think it was three sets, four sets, I can't remember, but it was up before. But yeah, just getting in, getting that done. And I was hurting by this stage, and just because when you do these, your arms hurt too because you've got so much weight. I think I'm only doing, I think they're only 30 kilo. 27 and a half kilo dumbbells. Should be finishing that up soon. Yep, there we go. And there's Siobhan. Again, better form. She's got better form than I do. She's lifting off the bench a little bit. But she's pushing it out. catch her doing her super setted as well. No, she's had enough. There we go. It's hard getting off that machine. When you after you do those like extensions you almost fall over. I do anyway. So Shaborn's just doing she's I think she started out with just the twenty kilo bar. She can go a lot heavier than that. It's just that we were concentrating on high reps today and really concentrating on form. I'm all, all about form. It's quant it's quality over quantity. And you've got to remember that because if you're just going to be throwing around weights, you're going to be doing yourself more damage long term. Especially when you get older, you'll notice that you get sore quicker. But when you're young, and you, if you get in a bad routine, you'll, you'll stick to it. And then you'll pay for it when you get older. So really focusing on getting the right movement and Siobhan's spot on here she's, that's perfect form there she goes she's finishing up with 20 now I believe we went we go straight into single leg lying curls and then we do three sets of 20 reps of those so I'm throwing it up there this is just focusing on contraction and I, I'm, I'm wrecked by this stage might not seem like a lot but when you're in such a caloric deficit is what I am at this stage and the cardio that I'm doing and then top that with having to do legs obviously and still trying to go pretty heavy because I don't generally in off season or on season I don't differ from the weights the weight stays the same generally um, I'll notice strength loss, so obviously I won't be able to push it out as much. So that'll finish that up pretty soon. I think that actually finished our whole day. That's we finish on these. And then usually I'll finish up with a carve or an ab session. I think today was an ab session. So you'll see us busting out some abs so here I'm just finishing up with abs and I'll do these like I've said in other videos every alternating day so today I'll do abs and tomorrow I'll do calves and then follow that through so here we've got four sets of 20 reps now that's 20 reps of each of these exercises back to back and then doing it rotating it four times I think we got 20 reps of toe touches And then we go into bicycle crunches. So yeah, we've got 40 here and I'll do 20 on each side. By this stage, you are hurting. Constantly keeping your legs moving and your shoulders off the ground. So now we're going to go into ankle touches and we do 20 on each side. Now here you've really got to crunch up. If you just lie on your shoulders or with your back and your shoulders to the ground, you won't feel it. So you've got to crunch up. So you can tell that I'm pretty knackered by this stage. And now we've got leg raises. Again, not touching the ground. and trying to keep your scapula, your shoulders permanently on the on the mat or the ground 
and we'll get 20 of those out and that'll finish us up so doing abs after leg day like even here I'm pushing that up and it's, it's hurting my legs are pretty exhausted so yeah guys that's my leg day for one of my four week cycles Alright guys, we just got done smashing legs, um, it's dark now, eight weeks out, definitely lost some strength in my legs, uh, however it still went pretty hard, today was a high rep day, so you'll notice that um, I was pushing pretty low weight, uh, considerably low weight, however, still managed to, especially on my leg press, so I was hitting up around I think the 30 reps for four sets I think we did, four sets, yeah. and um, yeah, so I still went pretty hard. I only had three plates, or four plates. One of those was a 10 kilo, though. Um, but still got it done. So I was, was all right with that. But then when I came to my squats, I had nothing left. And you'll see that I only did, I think, 20 kilos on each side. So that's probably a quarter of what I can lift on my maximum. But again, we're going for 20 reps. So it was a high, high volume week this week. So that's uh, one of my four-week cycles. As some of you know, I do a four-week cycle. So each week I'm something different. So this week was a high, high rep, high volume day, just to but really burn out and go into failure at a high rep um, range. So yeah, we got it done. Shabon's, Shabon, you're feeling pretty strong still, or because Shabon's also in a bit of a deficit. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> she's tired, but she's just done a full day's work out in the sun, whereas I get to sit on the computer all day. So yeah, so eight weeks out, uh, leg week done. And yeah, tomorrow we've got shoulders, so Siobhan and I will probably, she'll probably film me doing that as well. Alright guys, I don't think there's anything else to report. Don't forget to comment or subscribe and like my stuff. And I'll get back to you soon. See ya. Hey guys, just doing a little bit of posing after leg day. No, not posing, but just checking the size of my legs. Too bad through the hamstring there. Can't really see. This light's not the best. No, that's a bit bad. Pretty decent sweep there on the outer quad. This light's bloody shit ass. Don't mind the underwear. So <laughs>